So that's the fragrance that we are going to be doing the first impression of. Uh, let me try it on my skin. So I understand that this is another popular fragrance from Jim Malone. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I did uh, Mir and Tonka, and I already own Oud and Bergamot, which is like, which is becoming one of my like top three all-time favorite fragrances. And I think uh, I'm a Jim Malone fanboy now. Um, let's see. I'll, let's see what this smells like. Wood, sage, and sea salt. So probably smells like the sea, or uh, or beachside, or something like that. Let's see. I'm a big fan of the sea. I'm from a coastal city, like uh, yeah, and I and I, I love uh, coastal regions, coastal cuisine. I like beaches in general. It's if there's some place that I would want to settle down, it would be close to a beach. Something definitely citrusy, lemon or lime or something like that. Maybe orange blossom or something. It's very citrusy. I wonder. It's... It reminds me of some some other fragrance. I'm not able to recall which. Hmm. I think maybe it, it's reminding me of this um, Lumanist or something or uh, or a fragrance by Frappin I'm not able to yeah I think it reminds me of uh, reminds me of this fragrance by Frappin it's called Isle of Man So it does, it's not like a beach kind of a, so it's more, it smells more like a cliff, cliffy seaside as opposed to a, you know, a sand beach seaside, you know what I mean? It definitely reminds me of, 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 uh, of Isle of Man is what I'm. Because I I tried the fragrance, so it's been months since since I tried the fragrance, so I'm I can't I'm not able to. But it definitely has this um, a lime or lemon, and then maybe a little. This it's it has a. It's not like it's not like a typical um, what do you call it Tom Ford um, you know these these uh, Italian inspired uh, fragrances it's, it's not smelling like that but this there's something about it that's that that that's making me like it because those fragrances right I'm talking about this this uh, you know, Mandarino, the Amalfi, and all those fragrances, like when they're in, inspired by the Italian uh, Riviera or whatever. It's not smelling like that. It's very fresh, and there's something about it that I'm loving it. Oh, this is beautiful. This, this guys, this Jo Malone, man, where... Why, why have I not been looking at Jomono fragrances at all all these years? You know, it's been two three years since I started with this fragrance journey. Wood, 
sage and sea salt longevity is one issue though that that's 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 something that i always um hear about joe malone fragrances maybe because of that reason and not many youtube reviewers talk about joe malone like as much as they talk about brands like dior and chanel and you know what not so this was launched 2014 christine nagel is the perfumer so okay so composition is just like name so just composed of ambrette seed sea salt and sage along with the red al algae and grapefruit this fragrance is different from each is perfumer of the composition is sea and is mixed with salty and mineral texture of sand and stones as a scent of driftwood it has natural and fresh sophistication uh, okay in fire inspired by the unique character and quality of british beach yeah okay yeah british beach is there they're not sandy beaches is it because i've been to ireland i visited ireland and i assume that's the same kind of beaches that they have in 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 in, in england because it's the landscape there is pretty much the same isn't it i could be wrong that's pretty much like i love man like i was i was correct i love man yeah it definitely reminds me of i love man then because i love man is, is somewhere in the uk uh, right i believe i am i am i i i love this smell because for some reason it reminds me of my uh, trip to ireland i i think specifically um there's this place that i visited it's a peninsula it's called uh, oh man i need to google it now i would never forget that um, it's uh, wait a minute so So there's this there's this kind of peninsula in Dublin it's called Howth and that has a beautiful scent about that place I I I mentioned the same uh, when I did my first impression of Isle of Man as well that place I think this fragrance and that Isle of Man remain me of this 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 uh, trip my trip to Howth it's such a magical uh, place uh the cliffs and it was so bloody cold on that day i was wearing two jackets and i still felt like so biting cold uh yeah and and i think that is the reason why i'm liking it this is so beautiful the smell i'll never forget that smell it's an amazing place and an amazing scent about that place see how like it like as soon as i smelled it kind of took me there it's trans uh, transportive oh, is that the word is that even a word i don't know so scent is such a beautiful thing it transports you to a different place right like if you have a memory of it amazing meron toga that's the other one that i sprayed on this hand and i'm liking this yes mir is is like a um, you need you need uh mir is like an acquired taste is what i uh, i'm trying to say amazing so 3 out of 3 jomolo i don't know man i probably i'm going to get another jomolo fragrance very soon very soon Thanks a lot guys again for watching and see you in the next video bye bye